it started off as an ordinary day until I saw this. I didn't expect anything of it. But, ugh, I really didn't expect anything of it. Now let's skip to the future. Hello, future here. I I got a distress call from a medical staff in about an infection. I didn't know what I knew what type it was as they he said they were trying to infect him. The furries. So I was rushing over as fast as I could. Rushing, rushing. Hoping he was all okay, alright. Until I realized it was already too late. It was a sad day for all of us. The doctor didn't even stand chance. Between him and him and two furries, he stood no chance. So I knew I had to run. I couldn't take three of them on. Multiple times I thought I'd get infected. I was so scared. <laughs> that is not true. I was not scared. <laughs> I ran as fast as I could. I could see that the furry was entering Clusty containment There were too many furries to handle I was alone at that point <laughs> Not really, I wasn't alone, I had mild help Dealing with the furries. And then this happened. I ran away from the dog SCP. I did a playing move where I outplayed the dog SCP, got it trapped. I think some poor soul is being chased by the dog at this point knowing people that play this I knew I had to get to the medical sector I ran and I ran running to the medical sector I knew I had to do something I was going to look for the cure I was on edge. Anyone could be a furry. But it was too early into their furry career to get a furry suit. I was lucky. No furries entered. I was looking for the research of one of the medical department medical that got infected they were they might have been close to the cure I was looking at everything trying to find everything and then I found where the furries came from They were in a padded cell. 
I needed to, knew I needed to get out of there. I needed to help the people who weren't infected. But I was still on edge. As you can obviously see, I didn't know what to do. So I sent out an announcement. Well, not really. I sent it over the radio. Uh, about how it is best not to touch the furries. And someone who seems to have broken free from the furry grasp. No, sorry. That was a different person. Then someone said, well, obviously. <laughs> I knew at that point it was okay. We would survive. Probably. Now, I was going to check Classy Containment if there were any furries, and if I, there were, I would have entered and taken them out, tried to take them out, and there was, I believe, three furries in there. Or was it four? <laughs> After all, surviving through this wasn't easy, my friends. Now, I ended up behind a furry, and then the furry leader ended up there. I shot at him, hoping to hit. I knew I wouldn't be able to get him, so I chased down a furry. I got a few shots in. It's almost as if these furries are immortal. Anyway, I believe at this point there was a scientist researching the cure, but no one knew, not even me. Then I got an announcement from a furry to, can, huh, to isolate all furries. Wow. And then, oh, and then, then, then the unimaginable happened. I was being chased down. I thought I was safe. And then, it happened. I touched a furry. I was infected. I didn't know what to do, but I was infected after all, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> it's laughable, I myself was beta 7, I was, <laughs> I was meant to be able to fight it, but no, I couldn't. I, my whole job was to take the furries out. No, no, no. It just... <laughs> it makes me laugh, but also could cry at the same time. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. But I decided to go to the medical department area of the furry. Don't know why. <laughs> then I saw something. As a furry. <laughs> I'll let it explain itself. <laughs> <laughs>